1942 again. Hmm. Are you ready, Mr. Gigan? All right, we are ready. A military person has just uh, entered their vehicle, uh, so I cannot speak with him. So I just pointed to the URL. Uh, Asking military persons to quit their jobs uh, would be part of this endeavor. I, I have not uh, made it a focus because it is, uh, uh, you know, one never knows when one, one will see a military person. Uh, but there was one just happening to leave Concord Police Department here. All right, uh, so we're about ready to ask Concord Police Department to uh, reduce their cooperation with the feds. Everybody ready? <laughs> Everybody being me and Garrett Ian of FreeConcord.com or FreeConcord.tv. Dot org, but I mean uh, the way you get to it now is freeconquer.wordpress.com. Right. I need to update the URL. Uh, I do not see a. Uh, seems to have known this that I, that I was there. This is not very 1942. Uh, this is Bitcoin Gandhi. I wish to speak with someone at uh, the Concord Police Department regarding policy. Um, did you say you, you would like to speak with somebody about the policy? I would like to speak with someone uh, from Concord Police Department regarding policy, yes. Okay. Um, I could not hear. I could not hear all of that. But the policy I would like to uh, ask questions. Well, not so much ask questions, but is make a request regarding is your uh, relations with the federal government. Okay, hold on just one minute. Let me try and get somebody out to you or get somebody in contact with you. Okay. Thank you so much. Sure. I find it I like to, uh, when uh, there are enough people around, or if I'm in proximity to someone, I forget to do it, but uh, I, I try to give out, I just try to say bitcoingandy.net. Uh, mm -hmm. And often, of course, people think I am a, a person without a home, <laughs> <laughs> at which point I tell them they would not believe what I was doing, uh, although they are welcome to go to my website and gain belief. <laughs> if I told them what I was doing, they would not believe me and imagine that I was simply on my way to the shelter. Mm. But uh, it is interesting. I have learned a bit about how New Hampshireites treat uh, the homeless and uh, it has been uh, rather impressive, actually. Uh, two have stopped to provide me water and another three, perhaps, have stopped to offer general assistance. And this is just people who don't have any idea what I'm doing. Uh, but uh, the, uh, the free staters, of course, and uh, the other liberty activists have stopped many times to resupply me and uh, assist me in other ways and march with me and so forth. I have a fair amount of video of other people doing that, uh, marching with me, but I fear that hardly anyone else has any video of such a thing. BitcoinGandhi.net <laughs> Now your march is a, a bit of a, an emulation or recreation of Gandhi's salt march. It's uh, an attempt to imitate the, the Mahatma's salt march, that is correct. Could you uh, explain a little bit about what the, the basis for the salt march was, why it occurred, and how it went down? 
Well, uh, the root cause was uh, the pe people of India wished to be uh, separated from the British Empire. They wished for the British government to stop ruling them. And um, uh, they had been working on this for some time. I do not know if there was a specific trigger that uh, got him to do it at that particular time. Babe. Sorry for the... Sorry, sorry, sir. Can you run me uh, over a map? We were, we were interrupting someone on their phone. Uh, the, um... We should move a bit this way. Um, Sounds like they might be calling. Of course, you can always... Oh, yes, hello. Hello. Hi. <laughs> we are still here. Okay, perfect. I have, um... One of the lieutenants is going to be out. He's just tied up for a minute. Thank you. He said, just a minute. Yeah. All right, one, one of the lieutenants will be out. Thank you. Do I just push that stuff then? I believe, yes. Uh, I'll push it for you if you don't want to get your hand ready. It is what this is for, I suppose. I'm good for my job. <laughs> Except uh, theater, <laughs> theatrics. <laughs> uh, in any way, where, where were we? Oh, about the, the base of the salt march. Oh, yeah. So the. Uh, uh, I do not know. There was something that triggered it because he said in his note uh, to the to uh, Viceroy Irwin, who was ruling India, that um, he said that um, he didn't want to do it. It was he dreaded it, uh, and he was asking uh, Lord Irwin to make some small concession to prevent him from having to do the march. But Lord Irwin ignored the letter, and the march went on. I do not know why he was so reluctant to do it. Uh, he had plenty of support. I can tell you, I was certainly reluctant to do this one. <laughs> I did not want to do it at all uh, because he did not know. I mean, he, he had 80 people at his beginning, uh, so and I knew I could not do that. Uh, and I knew that uh, it would be difficult for people to march with me. Some of them are not in good enough health. Many of them are not. This is America, after all. Uh, so I would be alone much of the time. Uh, and it is not uh, ideal, but it uh, seemed like something that needed to be done. I couldn't think of anything better. Uh, I, I guess I, I, I'm sorry I did not mention why you know we, it, it is a protest against something that did happen here very serious uh, against the uh, the attack on the uh, bitcoiners of New Hampshire. Uh, six of them were arrested, and uh, this is a this is a protest against that. And I will be probably arrested for just for just uh, delivering a grievance. I'll be delivering a grievance about their arrests and then arrested for delivering the grievance. Because mm -hmm. it is illegal to hand out pieces of paper on federal property. Interesting. They won't maybe arrest me that day, uh, but uh, sooner or later they will demand uh, pay a fine or something from me, which I will pay, uh, and then they will harm me in some way. So how long have you been marching uh, to get to this point? So we left on May 9th. Uh, and, and I was not alone at the beginning. There were there was more. There was quite a few of us that went a couple of miles, I believe, before uh, people began wanting to go to their homes and sleep. <laughs> mm -hmm. But the Mahatma uh, slept out of doors each night for 24 days. Uh, and for this reason, to properly emulate him, at least in all the visual respects, I have uh, done uh, that as well. I've slept outdoors each night uh, since May 9th on my uh, slow walk here to Concord. And have you been remaining on foot the whole time, or have you been taking a... Have you been doing rides as you need them to different places? I, I will accept a ride if it takes me further from my destination. Okay. So I did uh, take one that took me backwards, so I would have to retrace my steps. Uh, it's complicated, but uh, as, long as, the, as long as the ride was not uh, taking me toward my destination, I felt it was all right. And I did that once. I'm not sure I will do it again. Mm. And what is the, the planned date and time of the uh, action on the, the federal grounds to distribute info? Oh, uh, the planned date. Oh, yeah, June 2nd. Uh, we're looking at uh, June 2nd for the uh, 3, 3 p.m. at the federal building uh, to violate their regulation 102-74. And that's a Wednesday? Correct. This is my recollection, yes. Well, I'm going to save some battery until the lieutenant comes out. How are you? Good, how are you? Uh, well, we've all been better if we're at police departments, right? Yeah, right. Apologize. Uh, I'm not expecting to reach four people in one spot. Uh, you may think of me as Bitcoin Gandhi. I have been going from police department to police department around New Hampshire on foot from Keene. On foot, all right. Yes, uh, to ask that you reduce your cooperation with the central government. Okay. Nothing much more complicated than that, but I can tell you why.
We are upset uh, regarding a federal arrest uh, series of raids that occurred uh, on March 16th. Okay. They arrested six Bitcoiners and uh, one of them remains in jail. We are upset about this arrest. We believe it was victimless crimes, if anything, if it was even crimes. Mm -hmm. And we are uh, attempting to remove the pillars of support from the central government by asking their helpers at the local level to stop helping them. Sure. Okay. All right. Appreciate now, you forwarding I the message. I do have a piece of uh, uh, literature that I would like to provide to you, if I may. And, uh, you're welcome to share it with others of your department. Sure. It's not precisely on the same issue, but uh, has to do with uh, just your general enforcement of victimless crimes and sure. how upset the public has become about it. Sure. All right. Any other questions I can help you with? Lieutenant, I cannot think of any. I just appreciate your time. You're I welcome. would like to point out that I will probably be arrested for doing just what I did okay. at the federal building when I do it on June 2nd. Oh, okay. This is the point of civil disobedience. Is to uh, there, there is a federal law uh, regulation that says you are not allowed to distribute pieces of paper on federal property. Oh, okay. You cannot hand grievances. So I will hand a grievance to the federal government about these arrests. Sure. And then I shall be uh, arrested for handing in the grievances. Sure, okay. Note well, how much different they handle me compared to you. All right. Do you have any questions of me? I can't think of any. All right. Uh, I uh, may have some at some distant future point. All right. I wish you the best of luck in your travels. It's a hot one. Thank you. You are invited to march with us and oh. to join us in civil disobedience at the federal building. Right, I'm all set. Thank you for the offer. Where, <laughs> right. where are you walking to next? Uh, I will be uh, going to the state house next, and then tomorrow we'll go to a series of uh, state bureaucracies. Okay. Uh, just much as we have done today with you. All right, happy travels. Thank you, Lieutenant. Good luck to you. All right. So how did that compare to your experiences at other police departments along well, the way? It was a bit more dry than some others. Uh, one, uh, 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 the, the young lady at uh, Hineker said, oh, I would lose my job if I did that. <laughs> uh, and uh, she was quite surprised that we had walked to Hineker. Um, or that I had walked to Hineker. I wish I could do. I wish I could say we. Um, the, um, there were other people though at Hineker, I was not alone. And um, uh, what was another place? Uh, we stopped at, uh, at Hillsborough Police Department and uh, uh, they were receptive enough, but it was a bit like that one. Uh, there was the Keene Police Department was probably the worst because you can't even get to the people. I, su I suppose it probably had more to do with the way I asked. I, I just, uh, we just went up to their reception window and uh, gave them the, the, the the grievances to the reception lady. Uh, that was a mistake. We should have uh, requested to speak with someone, uh, you know, a PIO or something like that. Yes. So onward to the state house. All right. <laughs>